Hey guys, welcome back. On today's episode, we're going to learn how to delete a record in our database. So let's get started. I'm going to actually go ahead and create a delete button on the top right of our card to start. So I'm going to open up our idea card and I believe we up right under here. I'm going to add a new div like so. And inside it, I'm going to include a button and I'll give it the following class. And we are using Bootstrap 5, so I'm using Bootstrap 5 classes, BTN, BTN Danger, and Danger is for uh, red buttons. And I'm gonna make it be a small button and I give it a delete, or I can use the X for now. So let's reload and we get something like this. We can later on add an icon if you want, but this works. So let's actually implement the functionality of this, right? So I'm going to wrap our button with a form. This is something we did previously for uh, our submission form as well. And I'm going to give it the method of post. And for action, I want something like this. I want ideas dot, uh, the idea of our idea, right? So for example, if, if we are deleting the latest one, it's going to be 35, 23, something like that, right? So I'm going to pass the ID here so we know which one to delete, right? But we, instead of hard coding it, I want to actually use the route names. So I'll go in our routes, which is web.php, and I'm going to create a new route. And one more thing, guys, I actually renamed this ideas route from idea to ideas. I added the S, and I did the same thing here. And I changed the name previously. I believe it was create. I changed it to store. So your code might be a bit different from mine if you are following the tutorial. So for this one, I actually want to delete, right? I don't want to use a post. So Laravel actually has a naming convention for this, which a lot of people follow, I as well follow it. And it's actually explained on the documentation under controllers. So you guys can go check it out yourself if you want. But it's under uh, resource names here. And it's basically the naming convention if you're creating a controller for resource, which in our case, we're creating it for the idea resource. So the convention is to use uh, photos, for example, in our case, it's going to be ideas, plural. And for the action name, if you're just viewing all of them, you're going to use the name index. If you're on the creation page, you're going to use create. For the database creation, you're going to use store. In order to view a single uh, photo, you're going to use show. And for editing, you're going to use edit. For updating, use the update. So the convention is written here, right? And it also has a convention for route names. So that's why I changed our idea to ideas. Uh, I didn't want to explain this yet to you guys. So now I think it's a good time to learn about it. So for our uh, delete operation, I'm going to use the delete request. So instead of a post request, I'm going to use delete. And instead of ideas, we're going to use ideas and then include basically some ID. So here I'm going to put the ID. So now, in order to actually add a variable here, right? So this is going to be something that's passed in to the URL. You're going to add curly brackets, opening and closing curly brackets. And inside it, you can give it whatever name you like. Uh, I'll give it ID. And that's going to be the idea of our idea. And I'm saying ID a lot. So it might be a bit confusing, but we are passing the ID here. And Laravel will take that in and pass it to our store function as an argument, right? I'll show you guys how it works in practice in a second. So let's go in our ID card uh, for the action. I'm going to pass in the route ideas. And for the name here, instead of store, we should use destroy. And I got it from here. So basically I'm following this convention here for the names. So I'll use destroy. And we have successfully basically created our delete button, right? Now Laravel actually suggests that we use the delete a request for our deletion. Now on web request, you can only do get and post, but Laravel actually has a way of spoofing it and you can use the following code and then put delete. So it just spoofs it as if it is a delete request, right? And I recommend you guys do that. I think it's a good practice, but if you don't want to, it's totally okay. You can just use a post request here instead of delete. So now that we have that, I'll save it. Let's go and test it out. We should get an error, but which we are. So the error is telling us, hey, uh, you need to pass in an ID, so you're missing the parameter ID. So let's do that. And 
It's actually very easy to do. In your route, you're going to pass in the argument, the ID as a second argument. So I'm going to say idea dot slash ID. And this will basically fix our URL, right? So uh, we can actually inspect it or we can just click on it. And this is what we got. So in case it's too small, this is what happens. So Laravel automatically adds the ID to the end of the URL right as we defined it in our routes so this is going to become basically a variable all right so now that i'm clicking on the delete button we're actually getting a page expired so and if you remember from our create idea episode we need to also include the csrf tag so i'm going to also do that csrf nice and now that should solve the problem now we are getting an error, idea field is required. So I'll fix that in a second. So the reason this is happening is because we are sending this to the store method. So I'll change this to destroy. And if we try it again, we should get an error. And it's telling us, hey, the destroy method does not exist on the idea controller. So let's go and create that. So I'll open up our idea controller and create a new function or a new method, and I call it this Troy. And don't forget, we need to get the ID of our uh, idea here. And for now, I'm just gonna say deleting, okay? I, uh, I wanna see if it's working or not, all right? So I'll reload the page, and you can see that it is actually working, right? So that's pretty good for us. So now that we know it is working, let's remove this and see we can ha how we can actually go about deleting our idea. So first we need to get the ID and we can use eloquent for that. So I'll go ID, our model, and we want to do a where search, right? Where ID is equal to something. So if you were doing a query, you would say basically where ID equals, you know, ID. And we can do the exact same thing with our model and we can say where. And don't forget the double colons, guys. Where ID, and the default is going to be equal. So I, I don't need to write the equal sign, equals to ID. And to get it, if you type in get, it's going to give you assume that there might be multiple requests with the same ID. Instead, I'm going to say first. So it's going to get the first item that matches this ID, right? So now, and we need to store it in a variable like this. Now, in order to delete it, we can actually do something like this, idea.delete. That's it. It's that simple. You basically just call in this request, this function, delete on your model. And after we have done the deletion, I'm just going to redirect the user back. And I'm going to give him idea deleted successfully, right? So I'll just redirect him back. And all we needed was basically two lines of code. We can actually make it a bit shorter, but for now, this should do the trick. So I'll reload the page and we see idea deleted successfully. I'll try to delete this one, test flash message. Boom, deleted. That easy. Now we can maybe add a confirmation message if we want, but for now, I think this gets the job done. Now, what if, what if I'll open a new tab and I'm gonna delete this first one on this page. So what if this tweet is already deleted on another page and you try to delete it? And we get an error. So it's telling us delete on null. And the reason for that is Laravel is trying to actually get the first request. So it's failing and it is returning null, right? And we are calling delete on a null object. So in order to fix that, actually Laravel has a solution. We can say fail first or fail. And what this does is if it fails to find an element or a row record matching our search parameters, it returns a 404 response. And 404 is a not found response. So we don't need to actually handle the error anymore. It makes it very convenient for us. So if I reload this page again, we get page not found. So if user tries to delete, you know, an idea that doesn't exist, they just get a 404 request and we handle it gracefully instead of showing some error message. And that is it, guys. It's actually this simple to delete records. You find an idea or a model, and then you call the delete method on it.
two lines of code. As a matter of fact, we could even make it one line of code by chaining these and adding delete here. So I'll either remove this. We don't even need this. It's going to be one line of code. So let's try it out. Boom. So we can actually delete records with just one line of code. Super simple and easy to do, right? All right, that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, we did cover some new things, such as the naming uh, convention for resource routes, so or resource full naming. That's what Laravel calls it. And resource controllers. So uh, you guys can actually go and read a bit more about it here on the Laravel documentation. I'll have it in the description. And if you have any questions or you want to ask me something, you can always leave it in the comment section below and I'll try to help you guys out. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. And I see you guys on the next episode. Have a great day. Bye.